up, creative world? Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. For those that are new here, my name is Weber Sampanti. I'm an artist, architect, and designer in Norwalk, Connecticut. This is the Mad Lab. And on this channel, I talk about my creative journey as an artist, my trials and tribulations, the different projects I'm working on, and just my thoughts in general. So if you're an artist, a creative, or you just like art in general, please consider subscribing, smash that like button, and leave a little comment, and we can just keep having fun. This week, I was inspired to go in a different direction. I've decided that I'm going to treat the vlog more like a journal. I even got a brand new name for it. So I'm just going to work on my art every week, try to put in as many hours as I can, and then I'm going to just journal about it. What I mean is that it's been very difficult for me to record a project from beginning to end and trying to mush the entire process into a one week and rush through projects and try to make things work, and it just becomes very frustrating. And the sad part is that the art suffers from that, and so does my creativity. So instead, I am just going to focus on working on my art, focusing on enjoying the process, and then I'll take a moment to reflect on a week, what I've learned in the actual process of making art. What I really want to do is just work on art and share it with you. So with that being said, this week, we're making some do you boo-boo pieces, baby. I promise that today, we're gonna paint a ton of these. But before we put any color, it's time to spray some white. Okay, now we're ready. I have a few idea of what I want to do with some of these pieces. A few of them will stay white. I'll slap a doo boo on it, like nice and slappy the way I do it. And then I'll pour epoxy over it. And at that point, that's when we're gonna test out a couple of the epoxy colors to see which colors match best with the white background and the black lettering. And the other ones, I'll paint more of a solid color and I'll add other phrases to it, like, do you boo boo? Or my favorite, creative as fuck. And then the other pieces, I actually want to play with color. As you know, I love bright colors. Anything fluorescent will make me happy. So of course, the other canvases are gonna be super vibrant, super colorful. But before we get too crazy, I want to stay within the color family. So I wanna do a pink piece, I wanna do a blue piece, I wanna do a yellow piece, and then play around with overlaying other colors on top of that. And that's why I created this template. The point of it was to see which colors go well together. So right now what I'm thinking is that I'm definitely gonna create a pink piece with a yellow on top. I'm definitely going to create a blue piece with pink on top and then I'll definitely create a yellow piece with pink on top. As you know, I change my mind all the time. So who knows how far we're gonna get. We're gonna start with the white pieces first and then we'll play with color. Check it out. This is how the first two came out. So this is pretty much what the Do You Boo Boo style started off as. Just a blank white slate with the black letters all messy. I love how all the splatters came out. I especially love the brush strokes. Especially when you get these little like ends like that. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> One thing that I'm working on perfecting is the proportion. I like this style a little bit better. This is definitely what I'm gonna try to do with the next couple pieces. As you can see, this one is much bigger. The letters are more spread out. That's the one I did first. And this second one, it's a little bit tighter. You have more white space around it, create a little bit of a border. So that's something that I'm trying to perfect. It's very difficult, especially when I'm recording. I've been waiting for this moment for a really long time. And right now we're gonna test different ways of dyeing the epoxy. In the past, for the most part, I've used alcohol inks. But today, I'm also going to test out dyeing the epoxy with acrylic ink. So now we're gonna mix a big batch of epoxy and then we're gonna pour it into little cups and test out each individual color and see what we come up with. Hey, playing on over the nation. Yeah, records just stay in rotation. 
get on beats and I slay. Well, I'd have to say our experiment was a success. Check it out. So the acrylics are very opaque. You can't see through them. Anything that was done with alcohol ink, you can still see through it. And then I tried mixing a couple of colors to see what would happen. And you get a cool effect when you mix the colors together when they're still wet. Check that out. I really love this, what's going on here. These colors are one of my favorite color combinations. Same thing with the pinks and the yellows. This is just everything. And now it's time for us to pour some epoxy on our finished pieces. I'm having a little anxiety right now about choosing colors and thinking that I'm gonna mess this up, but it's just like life, just making choices is, I'm always curious, am I gonna make the right choice or am I gonna make the wrong choice? But the good thing is that this is just art, it's just exploration, it really doesn't matter. Um, whatever happens, it's a learning experience and we're just gonna roll with it. So I'm gonna mix up the colors and just start pouring. Let's do it! Hey, this is my life manifesting. I got a life full of blessings. All of my life I can feel this. Now it's just turning to realness. Now if I want it, I get it. Checking the checks on my checklist. Shout out 11 11. This is my life manifesting. This is my life manifesting. This is my life manifesting. This is my life manifesting This is my life, yeah I got these visions I'm seeing Don't want a reason to name it Something inside me screaming I'm trying to kill all my demons I've been just seeing the signs Creating a positive vibe I'm gonna let these babies dry And I'm gonna check on them tomorrow This is so sick. This is so, this is so sick. Ooh, it looks like candy. It's like I just wanna eat it. Woo! Let's go! I am absolutely blown away with how these pieces came out. I am so happy. Uh, like, this is what I live for. I love pouring epoxy onto these boards and every time the way that the materials interact with each other the patterns the transparencies and the layers are always so amazing and i couldn't be happier with how everything turned out i hope you all enjoy it as well check it out and let me know what you think So there it is, creative world in all its glory. So what's my takeaway for the week? At the beginning of the week when I wanted to create these pieces, I had a vision of exactly what I wanted to create. I had a plan and I ran straight towards it. Then I got smacked in the face because just like last week, I ran out of time and there was too many things to do and I wasn't able to do exactly what I thought I was going to do. And the whole time, it made me anxious, it made me miserable, it made me doubt myself, it made me feel bad. But in just pushing through all of those feelings and not stopping, I'm actually excited that I was able to do the work that I did. And now I have even more ideas for what to do. And these are different ideas, ideas that excite me even more. And ideas that I feel I knew that are going to progress and are gonna allow me to do things differently and open me up to new opportunities. So I feel like if I can stay in that mindset, if I can always come back to what I'm saying when I feel those anxious feelings of, oh my God, I'm trying to do something a certain way and it's not going that way. I, if I can recall and come back to this place, it'll allow me to just be in the moment, take advantage of it and actually enjoy it. I mean, 
Everything right now for me is learning how to enjoy my life, how to be grateful for what I have, including my art. So with that being said, here's what I'm thinking I'm going to do next. With the orange piece, I'm probably going to leave it as is. I'm thinking about throwing a dewy booboo on top of it in a different color, like a purple, because I feel like those two colors will look awesome together. And then on this one, I'm going to continue the exploration. I'm probably going to throw some of this pink on top of it and see how those two colors lay on top of each other. And then this one, I don't know. This yellow is really starting to grow on me. I'm really liking how this is going. I think I want to leave this one like this so that I have it as a reference and then do other pieces similar to it and explore on top of that. So all in all, I love how they all came out. That one's probably my favorite. I'm a little biased because that's just kind of what I've always done. So for me, it's a familiar place and I love seeing this. So the biggest takeaway for this week is to trust myself and trust that process. And that's right. I actually do write these things down. When I said that this is gonna be an actual journal, it really is. I love to journal. I write my thoughts down all the time. I write my goals down every day. It helps me stay motivated. It helps me give clarity to the visions and a direction for where I wanna go in life. And now actually applying it to my art and using that as a way of guiding my life and my creativity, I feel like it's really going to help me progress. So whatever I say here, it really is out of my journal. It really is my thoughts. It's as candid as I can be. It's as raw as I can be and is as honest as I can be because I feel like that's the way that I'm going to grow and I'm going to allow myself to actually reflect and learn from these lessons. Like trusting myself. This week has genuinely been transformative for me. I'm so excited to see what I'm gonna do next. I have no idea, but we're probably not gonna do the exact same thing. I'm going to give myself a break and allow me to explore different projects while I try to finish these 16 pieces. That way I have a little bit of a moment to actually simmer and reflect on some of the pieces that I've created and not just like rush and jump into things right away and potentially ruin it. I just wanna kinda of take it all in for a little bit and start something else and see how it goes. So if you wanna know what we're gonna do next, make sure you smash that like button, make sure you subscribe so that you get notified. You have no idea how much that helps me in growing the channel and connecting with other creatives just like you. If you're enjoying this, share it to a creative. Send it to somebody that you know loves art, that needs a little bit of a push, that needs some positive energy in their life, and let's take over the creative world and help everybody pursue and follow their dreams. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And until next time, never stop creating.